Hi Virgo, welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Virgo, this is your general reading starting here uh, today, but I said the time frame from mid-April until mid-May of 2021. I'm starting a little bit differently. I'm using this new deck, well, it's an old deck, to just get an overall feeling of what's going on with you. And then we're just going to dive deeper and deeper into your message. Uh, this is not a quick fix. So if you're looking for a quick fix, I am probably not your reader. Could be, but probably not. Um, this is more like I'm building up the energy and it's more towards the end where I have a full view of what's going on and then even take that further into the extended reading where we go even deeper if you resonate with the reading. So if you're more like that, you can take a cup of coffee and, or a cup of tea and just come with me on this journey. Wow. As Leo, uh, I mean, I take this deck to just get an overall picture of what's going on with one card and now Leo and you, you you actually beat Leo. If there's a competition, you won. Um, four cards instead of, sorry, <clears throat> instead of one. So let's see what this is about. First we have legends, learn from those who inspire you. And it's interesting, I haven't had this card in a really, really long time. Usually um, when I get this card, so we're gonna find out and see what's going on here. This is like one part of this card is really, really high vibrational. It's very beautiful. You're being offered the best of the best. And the other part is like there's a real douchebag here. There's a real sleaze ball <laughs> in your life somehow, some way, or have been in the past. And divine intervention is here to sort of over overlook, oversee the whole thing. We have illusions, which just it tells you that you know, whatever you choose to look on is what's being created. Whatever you, uh, what looks real is just an illusion, however real it looks. Dove is talking about peace. You can create this beautiful reality for yourself that just involves only peace. Or at least 95% of peace and then a little bit to just continue to evolve. And we get the Virgo card. Wow. This has turned into be my, my Virgo slash Taurus card. So maybe you have a Taurus, Taurus placement somewhere somehow or you're dealing with a Taurus. Uh, but this is all about like st standing tall, standing strong. You know who you are within yourself and to not sort of have anybody else decide what journey to take or what to do with your life basically and i also see a lot of star it's like a star constellation up here so it could talk a lot about your where you're from where your star like where you where you origin from that that is very important for you at this moment so let's clarify this what's going on here can we start with this um and usually like i don't clarify the first card because it's just the first card and an overview and then as we go into the other decks it more and more just makes sense why that card came out but when it's this many cards I want to clarify the story so can we just clarify this um, legends card please perhaps a sleaze bag or perhaps it can also just be shifting from lower vibration to higher vibration in your life I also see this probably is in gen general it probably um, it has been a tower moment for you I just want to say first the, the, the thing I saw here because it has because you dealt with somebody in the past that wasn't having like the very best your very best of interest uh, to themselves they might have just been really toxic um, you're meeting this new person or you're in this new situation where you wonder if this new situation is too good to be true or if it's like yeah they're showing up showing up they're showing up looking all golden and all yummy and all nice and all of that but it's like you question isn't that a little bit of an ugly shoe that they were <laughs> you know you can't date people with ugly shoes right you 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 understand that one um 
or if this is a situation that looks too good to be true, there's a company that has offered you this position, uh, looks really good, looks really like this could really be something, but doesn't it really smell bad? Is there something that smells bad? And I feel this is just your fear. And I know it's not just because the fear feels real. And I think that's why they want to have in the illusion here, like you, you actually decide really what you want to focus on. You can focus on the past that wasn't so nice, or you can focus on the future that is going to be even nicer and grander because you were willing to go through what you went through in your past. And so I just feel like this new golden opportunity, whether it be a person uh, or an, or a, like a um, business opportunity, whatever this is for you, I feel like whatever they're offering is good. The energy I'm sensing here is nothing bad. The, the, the energy from the past, yes, toxic. But what you're stepping into now, you don't have to keep an eye out or you don't have to sort of, I'm going to look for red flags, like I'm going to look for red flags so early on. Don't look for red flags because eventually you'll find them and they're not even red flags. You, your reality is an illusion. So whatever, whatever mantra, um, whatever affirmations, whatever story, whatever movie you keep repeating in your mind, that's going to be projected out. And if you like, if you look long enough, you'll find it. Not because it's there, but because you'll, you, you match something up that to you looks dangerous and you're out of there. And I'm just saying you do not have to be. This situation though, uh, has, it has been a tower moment for you. You have been this, in a situation where this was a tower moment for you. So everything in this situation has shifted. Okay. And we've come to some sort of end here with the number nine. It's also wish fulfillment there on the horizon, like in the, in the back. Uh, and then we want to create, create, <laughs> then we want to create, <laughs> A new world. So can we talk about the illusion card? Wow. Excuse me. Oh. Okay. Okay. This is where you where you're coming from, Virgo. I feel like this is a little bit of a different energy here today. I don't usually get this story around you, but um, let's see what's happening here. Like we are continuing continuing on into the peace situation here, and then coming into complete self reliance. So you've grown a lot, but this heartache and loss, deception and envy. I mean, it has been a struggle for sure, and uh, it can be that you're still sort of deceiving yourself. It can be that you're still in this situation, although you're not in this situation anymore. The illusion card says, embrace the truth. It says embrace the truth on the bottom. And like it shows that whatever you have like on the inside is being mirrored. Whatever's going on for you is being mirrored in the outside world. And it doesn't have to be. What, what's being mirrored is what's going on in here. And what you're feeling about it, what, what you're thinking and what you're feeling about what you're thinking. And, and if there's, if this is a situation before that you had before where some toxicity was a part of your, um, reality. So two things happening here, two things coming here is that one, one is that yes, you were heartbroken and you were deceived and you were like you were not in a good situation, but that is over and done with. And, that, and that's for basically for all. And then for the, for the other thing that's coming through is that this very thing that happened isn't happening any longer. The truth of it is that if you look around this job or business or, or, or health, even it could have been like a major health scare or, or not even a scare. It could be that you had some sort of struggle with your body and this struggle is over and over and done with 
and you keep repeating now, whether it's a relationship or whether it's something happened in a relationship or so, something happened around your health or around a, a, a business situation, if you look around you, it's not, it's, it's not an ongoing thing anymore. It's not there. And yet, you're deceiving yourself because you continue to repeat the story. This can be um, PTSD, PDSP, <laughs> postpartum syndrome posting with a stamp on it. I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to make fun of if if there's. Um, I've had my fair share of of uh, repeating stuff in my brain for sure. And and even in the smallest things, you know, you you sort of get hung up on certain things. And it's not happening right now. It's not happening right in front of your face. That's not what's going on in your immediate future. I was gonna say not in the immediate surroundings. But that's what, you, that's what you're going to bring into your future. That's what you're planning for your future. Not because it's happening still, but because you're, you're thinking about it still. It's on overdrive and you need to get out of it. It is just an illusion. So keep to the truth of it. Get rid of, get rid of the story. I know it's easier said than done. Trust me, I know it. But still, I want to say, get rid of the old story. However you do it just get rid of it what has worked for me in the past is that i've just continued to say i do not have to think about this right now i do not have to think about this right now and there it is again nope i do not have to think about this right now if this lousy crappy story is still in my brain it's going to be there in 10 minutes so that i can think about it then but right now i don't have to think about it and eventually the grip the momentum of the energy it just seizes it really does not have you in a grip like that from the beginning it's so easy to think about what's being delivered to you and it's really really that much harder to 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 consciously choose to think about something else even though it's being delivered to you as a thought even though somebody's standing right in front of you saying something to your face or something is happening that you, it's so much easier to react to that, right? But you have full power to say, okay, but I'm not gonna look at you right now, or I'm not gonna think about this right now, or those receipts, or those those bills, or those whatever this is, they're still there tomorrow, and I'm not gonna think about it right now. What it buys you is time, time to elevate your vibration, and once you just get out of that deeper stuff, you'll have a completely new, ball game going on a completely new set of thoughts and like it's just a completely new way of looking at things from that new perspective okay okay so can we clarify again with the illusion what can they do right okay i'm told to move on so i will um, so I'm going to clarify the piece. Let me clarify the piece card. Where the rainbow is coming into this new world where you have, you can create a world with peace. You do not have to create a world with deceiving people or even with people that are really, really kind, but you, you distrust them a little bit or you distrust your reality because of what you've been through in the past. You truly can create a completely new reality for yourself. It is just an illusion. Transformation. So this, okay, so this is, this is, this seems where, where it's at right now. So the transformation is happening. It's going from this deceiving yourself, the breaking of the heart, um, the toxic situation, relationship, whatever that was for you. And we're transforming into this most beautiful new place in your life. Death leading to life. It's um, divine feminine energy there. sort of asking you to just go with the flow. Going where it feels the easiest to go right now. And just, I know it's, it's a big word, but trust, have faith in the universe that they just truly, truly, truly got your back. And I know it's tough if you come from a situation where it feels like they didn't have your back to all of a sudden just trust something that you didn't trust before. 
it's going to take a little bit of time. So don't rush it and don't force yourself and don't condemn yourself if you're not sort of fully like, I'm so okay with this world and I'm so like 100% healed and I'm so good with everything. No, you're not. And it's going to take a little bit of time and it's fine. But when you feel like you... When you feel like you have the need to pull away or feel feel like you need to maybe investigate a little bit in what's going on because you don't fully trust it with your heart, you sort of have to bring your brain in a little bit, Virgo, um, it's okay. You are completely allowed to do that because that is a way for you to sort of ease yourself a little bit and it doesn't, it's not really helpful. I'm just going to say it's not really helpful, <laughs> but it's um, it's a way for you to sort of uh, train yourself out of it again and again and again. But once you find you're there, don't judge yourself. It's okay to have slips every once in a while. And and on the on the bigger scheme in the in the bigger part here, you are going towards peace and harmony and creating a new world for yourself. And you're in this transformation. And then we want to clarify self-reliance. Don't be, don't be afraid to fly solo. You're such a star in this card. It's like you're just so... It's such a... Confident. Sure. Can you clarify this self... He wanted to come out and I'm happy it did because it was such a good card fulfillment of wishes do you think I need a new deck <laughs> fulfillment of wishes okay so I love this play on play on numbers here because we had the, the tower moment whatever this was for you that happened in the past sitting in a sea of fire i i've seen this i saw this card in the new lights one time and i sort of haven't been able to go back and maybe that's what has been happening for you as well you saw something in a new light and ever since then you haven't been able to go back and this situation in the sitting in the sea of fire is that you're now like whatever happened then made you wish for a major shift a complete makeover a complete transformation complete turnaround or turn forward however you want to say it nine there speaks about speaks about uh, a wish fulfillment unconditional love and wish fulfillment it's also endings leading into new life and and out of that comes this next card with number nine talking about the fulfillment of wishes so whatever this tower moment was for you it has created this most beautiful new future, this beautiful new present. Play on words again. Present as in gift and, and present as in, in the now moment. And so whatever you have wished for, and, and it's not just, you know, we're talking about like what you have become. You become this master house due to this situation. Your aura is just shining miles and miles around you and yeah you're able to manifest stuff that you want I see this treasure chest there with gold but it's also like you're I don't even see a gesture I don't even see like okay okay see here I come now part ways like the go separate yourself because here I come. it's like you just show up and it just it just parts the sea just parts next to you so it, I just feel like this enormous strength and power is coming out of this situation i'm gonna see like um i see two things so when i first say um bread it's such a random word to just say bread but there's something with bread going on so if you're just eating bread or or if the first word as a baby was bread <laughs> whatever this is for you bread seems to be bread brad no bread um seems to be important bread 
So however that resonates with one person, take it to heart. Uh, and then also, um, I see like, and I talked about this before, I don't know, oh, and I've already forgot it. Is it, is it scrolls? They, they look like, it's like, I would say it's the um, Akashic Records or it's like the, yeah. Right, we have a star constellation. The star constellation here is significant. It's like you're finding your origin. You're really going back to where you came from, where you, I wouldn't use the word, I, I, I don't know why I blurted that out. I, I wanted to say ascended from. It's interesting because I think we probably would have used the word ascend to now, like where we are now, we're ascending to. But it seems like where you came from, where you're at now is the is an ascension in itself. You have sort of manifested yourself onto planet Earth at this time in your life and that's an ascension in itself. So this is an origin wherever you ascended from. And what was I getting about that? Right, scroll, scrolls, or like, I want to say Akashic Records, I want to say Atlantis, I want to say like, I'm not too drawn to the series or Pleiades or Orion or, or stuff like that. I, I am I am very drawn to Akashic Records and Atlantis. And I mean, those are quite different. One is like a location and one is... Okay, I'm going to leave that up to you because it feels like the important, important thing here to, is just to deliver to you that I see those scrolls. I, I They might be called scrolls. S-C-R-O-L-L-S, -L -L if I just spell that correctly also, um, or roles, like records that you're carrying around, like it's important for you where you ascended from, you're finding that out, and as you find that out, it's like you become more and more powerful. Wow, it's like we've had this tower moment that has shifted everything for you, it has shaken stuff up. It has really, t it has taken like a number on you because you are like, you're watching out, you're, you're, you're looking out for if the, if there's a f similar feeling or if there's something here that resembles that was what was going on there so that you don't step into the same stuff again. Um, out of that comes, okay, understanding the illusion, understanding that this is a projection from you and how right now it's actually not going on anymore and it's up to you what you now project into the world and you can project a, a reality that is completely peaceful you can project you can create and then project a, a reality that is completely peaceful and out of this comes this most gorgeous like such a growth within yourself that B both it's allowing it for you like it has opened up this research to where you ascended from not descended where you ascended from and also into this mastery like you become this you really are starting to create a lot of beautiful things around you we're actually going to close the reading here interesting and move into the extended well let's see what the final can we have some final advice here then for Virgo, please? Final card for Virgo, please. Poised. Today, when I'm looking at this picture, this image, it's like she is so in her element. She really knows who she is. She wants what she wants. She's not compromising. Uh, and also she goes after what she wants. Obviously, this can be for a man as well. But I, this is a girl and I'm looking at it from, or a woman. Uh, I see her stretching after those stars. 
one star she has already like she has one star in her hand and the other star she's almost touching it almost touching it so to me this is like you're going after what you want and you have already started to manifest things that you want in your life and and the next star is like right there it can also be with the star constellation that we're talking about you're just about to find out more things about your origin or where like where you come from uh, 48 there speaks about number 12 we have um, the masculine energy here so we have the masculine and the divine feminine the masculine is all about action let's make it happen beautiful uh, manifestation happening for you right now so I'm gonna move into the extended and see what else I can find there for you so if you find this um, like you resonate with this you're so welcome to the extended uh, the link to that is in, in the description box down below if not thank you so much for watching Virgo I hope to see you back soon take care guys